VIP thing for the, the vets and went to the veterans ball and so I went to go see the Democrats and Republicans. Yeah, I went to the inauguration. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not well, attacking you. You get this now. I'm not kidding. You got to be real careful around here. You know, you get beat up. If you don't believe what everybody believes, this is like 30s Germany. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. If you're, if you're not part of the group, you know what we believe is right. They go, well, I might have a problem with that. I'm a comedian. I like going on buzz. What about Tim Allen? Who do you? You're one of the few conservatives in Hollywood. What the viewers may not know yet is you have to go underground. It's very rare for somebody to come out. The head of a Hollywood public relations firm telling the Wrap, "Quote: If you're climbing that studio ladder or haven't become a big star yet, you're probably not going to be very hesitant to support Trump. These people are afraid because their bosses likely." are very likely Hillary Clinton supporters. What I find odd in Hollywood is that they didn't like Trump because he was a bully. But if you side, if you had any kind of inkling that you were for Trump, you got bullied for doing that. Mm -hmm. And that's where this, it, it, it gets a little um, hypocritical to me, is that you, you can now bully people. And you're always on the defense with this. You mentioned, uh, you know, the, the number of liberals in Hollywood. I don't, there's a lot of them who are in very powerful positions. I think there's a lot of people who are probably not liberal who pretend they are. And there's a lot of conservatives who pretend they're not. And that's a very sad thing. Clint Eastwood saying, Joanne, your generation mm -hmm. is a generation of pussies. Here's the quotes. <laughs> Everybody's getting tired of political correctness. Kissing up. That's the kiss I'm sorry I used that word. Yeah. Generation we're in right now, everybody's walking on eggshells. He adds, we see people accusing people of being racist and all kinds of stuff. When I grew up, those things were not called racist. And you think if you're conservative in the, in the entertainment industry that you don't have to learn to keep your mouth shut, that's just not the case. But Hollywood, there is a group of, of people in Hollywood uh, that are conservative, but by the nature of the word itself, they're just reticent to speak out. And, uh, and they're reticent because they feel that they'll uh, maybe lose work or they'll be chastised in some way. Let's see what else Tim Allen's worried about. Oh, yeah. uh, he's got a problem with private companies snooping on people. Mm. If a government drove by down the street with like a gray sedan with a camera on it, you'd be rioting, going to Washington. But if it's white with emojis and Google on it, yay, yeah, hey, you're waving <laughs> at it. <laughs> they're taking pictures of your house. <laughs> We're moving toward almost a fascistic uh, uh, political correctness in which you ha you have to have one view in Hollywood, you have to have another in Wall Street and another in Washington. You know, I live in L.A. and I'm in the belly of the beast, so why not punch it every now and then? You, my little Edelweiss. By 1997, Allen had conquered Hollywood. Tim Allen is one of Hollywood's biggest stars, and his hit show, Last Man Standing, returns for its now... I don't think you should ride that motorcycle anymore. Is this because of Obamacare? <laughs> You know, I'd like to blame Obama because literally everything's his fault. Well, you do get some pushback from the dictators out there, Kim Jong-un, the Castro brothers, Obama. Wow. Hillary Clinton's asking us for money. Will her string of mistakes never end? The hits keep on coming, but she'll never top Benghazi. That's her stairway to heaven. Yeah, it's kind of screw up that happened when you spend all your free time deleting emails. Tonight, <laughs> Alan's character, Mike Baxter, is a self described man's man. He's not afraid to tell it like it is. In the beginning, I was getting hate from the left. As time progressed, I started seeing that there was 
more and more conservatives and Republicans in Hollywood, unfortunately, they're just kind of hiding because they know to hide. So if you're a conservative in Hollywood, or if you have unorthodox views, if you're not with everyone else, I mean, you must feel very, very isolated, but you must also have to think through what you believe. You can't take anything for granted if you're you. No, no, I don't. I, I love a good fight. Um, I, I'd rather be in the mix of it. I don't like being comfortable. I actually love liberals. I love partying with them, hanging out with them. I just don't want them governing over me because they want to take control over every aspect of my life. I think that's part of the reason why we are so divide, divided as a country nowadays. I mean, you can't say anything without being labeled uh, something as a result. You can't have an honest conversation about radical Islamic extremism without being lab labeled an Islamophobe. You can't have a conversation, you can't say that all lives matter all inclusively without being labeled a racist. And I think yeah. it's really sad because it hurts discourse in this country and it also further divides us. Where we used to be able to have discussions, political discussions, and uh, they could get heated, lively discussions about our different opinions. That stopped in, in 2007, 2008. Because if you disagreed with some of the issues, then you could be called, uh, branded a bigot or a racist. And that was a crying shame for, uh, for the country. It's kind of the opposite of Hillary Clinton. It actually gets less scary the better you know it. He's like the Obama of calamari. He figures everybody should get it, even if they're too lazy to order it for themselves. rather discuss quantum physics than box office numbers. Whether you're a true believer or a pagan. <laughs> and he spends a lot of time working on that curious relationship with God, or as he says, the builder. And uh, they don't maybe realize a lot of times that there's a reason they have those freedoms and they come at a cost. And I think that's what we're trying to do with Persecuted is help them realize that, that, oh my gosh, I, I might have to pay a price. I might have to stand up for what I believe in. Oh my God. Honey, don't say God in church. I always do ask, whoever put me here, mm -hmm. the builder, what did you want me to do? Do you think people would be surprised to know how deeply religious you or spiritual you are? Well, if you, if you know me, you know it. I don't push it. I just want a relationship with whoever built me. This is too much, too weird that it happened by accident. It didn't happen by accident. I don't feel that it did. And, and really, the movie being about an evangelist who stands up for what he believes in against an intrusive government that's trying to censor everything is one he identified with. And that man had to pay a serious cost for, for what he believed in. He was persecuted. He was hunted. He lost all of his security. And I think that's what we're trying to do here is trying to convert that into a story that young kids can wake up and say, oh my gosh, I actually have a responsibility for these freedoms I'm enjoying. Slate raced to prove his point by quickly publishing this response. Watch slack-jawed as Tim Allen <laughs> says supporting Trump in Hollywood is like 30s Germany. I mean, out of context, it seems a little extreme, right? right? There you mm. see it's a li he's joking around a little right. bit. And in, in the fact of the matter is, in early, early 1930s, 1933, what began, uh, which was people thought was just about making people get in, in line, was about a lot of pressure from various groups for people to be fired if they did not adhere to the, to the Nazi line. People would be shunned. People would be arrested. Uh, but generally, it was more about social pressure, uh, what would happen to you. And then, of course, it turned more violent. Stores being attacked and vandalized. 
we're, we're already experiencing some of that, of course. What is it like to be an outspoken conservative? It's, it's, it's hard. You, I've been ostracized. I've had my agents drop me. You know, it's, it's difficult, but that's okay. I don't care. Because None of these, 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 these hardcore liberals in Hollywood, well, what do they say to you? They, they say there's not enough to go around. They're not they enough. say, yeah, not Republicans racist. are racist homophobic and there's not enough to go around you can't go on television saying you know that the american dream can be gotten by achieved by everyone you can't say that that's not true that's wrong yeah that's the wrong thing to say